Morning, mamacita. Morning, not mamacita. <laughs> hey, oh no. No, no, no. 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 Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm hyper this morning. Yeah. We are just currently plotting how we are going to steal these two pillows yeah. and those two pillows. Purely because today we are, well, we're in Valencia. If you haven't been following, we did Street Gasm Rally. We went from Lake Como to Barcelona to Marseille. That was wrong. We went from Lake Como to Marseille to Barcelona to Valencia, which is exactly. where we now are. We arrived last night. Today, we've ended up deciding we're going to drive back to Monaco. Ideally, we would have left at 8 o'clock this morning, but <laughs> us being us, we've now left. Well, it's already about 11.30. Yep. So, that's that then. We've got a nine-hour drive ahead of us, and the Lotus bucket carbon seats are not that comfortable. So, we are plotting on how we can take these because here's our plan. We've already got two cushions in the car, little cushions. Yeah. I think we put one of these on the bottom, one yeah. of these for on your the back, back, exactly, and then the little one for your head if you exactly. want to sleep as a exactly. passenger. Sounds so, how are we going to get these past? Well, let, let's see if you stick them under your t-shirt if it's obvious or not. Okay. I'm just wondering, to be honest, let it me know. could. I mean, to be honest, it might, you may barely be able to know. Honestly, it. yeah, because the thing is we have to pass in front of the reception desk to get to the elevator. Oh, this works. Honestly, yeah. They have no idea. They have no idea. Yeah. Like, just give me a walk real quick. Look. Do I look suspicious? <laughs> Not at all. Oh, there this you is, go. This is like this. a typical traveler I mean, leaving the, the, the hotel. The hotel, exactly. Okay, let's do that then. Let's do it. Oh, look, they, they, they do kind of pull. So. <laughs> okay, okay, we figured a way. This is your technique. <laughs> I thought, okay, if, if, if we stick it between him and the bag, it's gonna. From the back, it's not that obvious, actually. Yeah, I know. Profile, it, it just looks like a big I look bag. like a cushion smuggler. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to have another one in my hand anyway. So it's what's okay. the point? <laughs> no, the point is that if you have two in your hands, it's a little too obvious. Like, it's a big thing. And yeah. now it's just like, you know, oh, he's just a single cushion stealer or something. Yeah. So it's okay. <laughs> it's better than two. <laughs> it's better than two. I mean, but then if they want to see the other one, it's not like it's completely hidden away. They or, just... or... You put it under your t-shirt and then the bag, so you won't even see it. You won't see any white. Too much effort. <laughs> it's, it's gonna work. Trust me, okay? I'm a professional here. I'm not flexible enough to, okay. like, grab it. Can you grab it from the top? <laughs> oh my goodness. How bad is it? Wait, don't let it pass you. No, it's okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> it looks like a ninja turtle or something. <laughs> okay, now put the bag, put the bag on. <laughs> wait, it, 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 it's it, it, sticking it, it, out. Yeah. Wait, because the bag is... Wait, wait. Wait, if you put... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's fine. And, and, and see here, it looks like a t-shirt. Okay, let's do mine now. <laughs> How does it look? <laughs> Just chilling with my cushion in my bag. Here we go. Look at the view, by the way. Yeah, this is one of the best elevator views you can get. All right, the moment of truth. Let's take a wide exterior. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's so awkward. Wait, where was it? This is it. Yes, this is it. This is it. <laughs> Are we minus one? Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we got out! Alright. There's still a bunch of cars here, huh? We parked over there. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How is it? It's very I'm very close to the steering <laughs> wheel. I think I won't fit with the cushion. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like it looks so the, awkward. I'm touching this. But is it comfortable? It's so comfortable. <laughs> oh god. Custom custom comfort seats. Oh my god. Yeah, this looks good actually. It looks very comfortable. Okay, sweet. Well, so yeah, car vlog is coming to Monaco. Tell him we're at the cars. Hey, what the hell are you doing on a truck? Well, well, here is what I'm doing on a truck. I was just vlogging for car vloggers vlog, but also checking out because I didn't know there was an option to ship your cars back. Turns out, for not that expensive, you could ship your car back home. A bit late now, as we're already driving back, but uh, yeah, good to know, at least for next year or something, that we can ship our car back. This is a total beast. The one seat. 
second. And ah, yeah, we didn't say about the awards. Third oh, yeah. place was given to. Who was it? The, the, RS7. Star yes. Wars RS7. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I can't. I can't remember. I'm like, uh. okay. So RS7. Then these guys second place, and then the dog RS6. Yeah, it's right there. Um, Dumb and Dumber car won first place in the awards. So that was last night. That was the party last night. Now we need to hit the road because it's already quite late, and uh, we need to try and get to Monaco before sort of three o'clock in the morning. I've got the cushions and I feel so tall. I mean, there's quite a lot of headroom in this car. Yeah, because for a yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's so it's so strange because I can't really see out the front because I'm yeah, so high up with all the stickers well. we've got. Um, but I'm also very upright, but it's so much more comfortable. It is. It makes a big this difference. This is going to make a massive difference. Stealing cushions from hotels is the way forward if you're doing Lotus road trips. stop the most important thing on a road trip like this where you're tight against time and you got a really long drive is just to not lose a lot of time on the petrol stop so we're gonna fill up you need to go to the toilet I'm gonna go to the toilet quickly buy some snacks buy some water and boom straight back on the road Decently quick stop. Well, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. So now we're gonna get back in. You're gonna do some driving. I'm gonna sleep. Let's hit the road. Well, it is half past eight in the evening. We have an hour and nine minutes to go until we get to Monaco. Then we're going straight to Tip Top, our favorite restaurant in Monaco for dinner. Get back to the good old roots. I'm excited to be back actually. It's gonna be nice to be back yeah. in Monaco town. But I thought. This would be a perfect opportunity after doing a full-blown rally and a lot of long driving in the Lotus to talk to you about what this car's like for long-distance cruising. Now then, let's start with the negatives. By no means is this a very comfortable or practical car. No. The seats, after a while, are very hard. Yeah. The suspension is pretty hard as well. But, as I've said before, it's not that bad. I mean, it, compared to something like an Aventador SV, the seats are more comfortable. The suspension is considerably less harsh, uh, especially in normal mode. It tightens up quite a bit in sport and race mode, but in normal mode, it's completely doable uh, for long drives like this. The valves make the biggest difference because now we're cruising along and you can barely even hear the engine. So it makes a huge difference. And then when you want it to be loud, it's super loud. So that's one of the greatest things they've done to make this car more usable are the valves, which in normal mode as well, Oh, he's saying slow down. Yeah. He's saying slow down because our cameras and the speed limits just gone down. So that's what we're going to do. Cruise control back on. Yes, cruise control. That's another thing. Now on the positives. Cruise control on this car is something I never had on the Elise and makes the biggest difference because when you're just cruising like this, you set your speed and you can just keep going for hours and hours and hours. The steering is nice and not too, too heavy when you're doing high speeds, which is good for long trips like this because you don't want it to be a hassle every time you go around corners on the motorway but it's perfectly usable the sound system shockingly bad really not very good i mean it basically feels like you got a loud iphone playing your music and in this particular car one of the speakers has some, some wiring's gone loose but we're going to fix that soon so we've only got one working speaker and the other one's all crackly so that's not ideal and then the main big thing is the lack of space <laughs> I mean, we have so little space. Everything's just packed into the back of the car. 
and uh, I mean in here we're so cramped. The cushions have made the biggest difference, but uh, yeah, I mean it is doable. For a drive like this, you can do it, but it's yeah. not easy. You're quite cramped, it gets a bit claustrophobic, um, it gets hot in here with the engine right behind you, but we've had basically aircon on full blast on the coldest setting for the entire trip basically. Um, fuel consumption, you can do about 300 kilometers on the tank, which isn't massive. Um, but the tank's not too too expensive. It's about 80 euros a tank um, So a drive like this. I mean we've done Basically we will have done four tanks almost on a drive like this, which is uh, which is expensive um, we, It would have been a lot cheaper to fly yeah. but oh well and overall street gasm itself as a rally has been so much fun I mean it's over now. We're separated from everyone, but it really has been an incredible experience And I really want to be able to do it again next year. The people were really friendly a lot of Dutch people Say 90% of the rally is Dutch, uh, but everyone's super friendly, very welcoming into the family. We stayed in nice hotels, had nice drives, just run too long, drove some beautiful roads, went to some beautiful cities, excuse me, and it's been really good. I'm excited to get back now. Uh, I have a trip to Italy next week um, just to see some friends and sort of relax a bit, not much filming, but we've got a bunch of filming planned as well, and then potentially might be going to the US, we're not too sure yet. Average speed zone. Average speed zone. Um, so we'll see if that happens and then we're off to the UK for Goodwood. And uh, we've got some exciting stuff which I'll announce in a few days about Goodwood because I'm going to be there and going to be doing a bunch of fun stuff there so that's super exciting. Uh, but yeah, we're going to arrive home in a bit. Well, home in Monaco. Um, my new home is now basically Geneva where I'm spending a lot of time but it will be nice to be back in Monaco. And we're going to give the car a quick wash before going to dinner, which I'm excited about. So, let's carry on with the drive. coming up and cheers bye bye hey yo quick cap saying saturday in the mouth snow julia